Uh, when you look at Europe as a whole, you're calling it the kind, of, kind of the naughty child, right? The underperformer. And this is for a variety of reasons, structural, Brexit, you know, a concern because politically it makes everyone less fragile. And yet, we're growing a touch. We're growing. I think uh, this year it's just above 1%. Next year is going to be a little bit uh, above that even uh, with uh, some fiscal contribution. So trendish. Uh, but inflation remains stuck uh, at 1%, and if you look at the forwards, uh, it's going to be there forever, which is really the disappointing uh, feature here. Do you worry about Italy? I mean, we, you say you're Italian. Um, right. there, there's a worry, of course, that if the referendum doesn't get through, then Matteo Renzi has to step down, and then something uglier will crop up, and we go back to political instability. Would that really play on the markets if the ECB is there? Look, uh, let's talk about the referendum in a, in a line. It is not a Brexit uh, binary event, right? Uh, they're trying to change the constitution to make, uh, uh, according to the proponents, uh, governments more stable and effective. They tried uh, 10 years ago and failed under Mr. Berlusconi. So it's a, a repeat with some changes of something that the Italians have been trying to deliver since the 80s, essentially. Why does it matter now? I think uh, for at least a couple reasons. One, there's this uh, uh, sense that Italy needs to change in order to improve in its uh, uh, growth performance. Uh, and uh, this would be a signal that the direction is, uh, is still the same. Um, and secondly, uh, Italy has uh, a problem with its banks. Uh, the banks uh, need to be, some of them, recapitalized. Uh, there's plenty of uh, non-performing loans. Uh, so having a government uh, uh, failing on this referendum and therefore be weaker uh, could create uh, some problems for uh, these right. institutions.